Reactions coming in from a senior scientist from the Hyderabad-based National Geophysical Research Institute on the ongoing rescue operations in Lumthari. We are using that uh, electrical residue tomography technique, which is uh, the latest technique in the worldwide. And this will help us in mapping the geological rock strata. And uh, within the rock strata, we can map the different formations which is there in the, at this uh, site. And this will help us to know the geological strata, the weather in voids has been created in the mine in the geological framework. This also tells the water rock type formation depending on the resistivity values and its contrast. And uh, we have already done uh, one small work in the river channel area, just from this place to uh, towards the this side uh, uh, up to uh, around a distance around 200 meters in the river uh, flood channel. And we have done a long profile of around 400 meters. So, and then we have seen, we had done profile from northeast or directions. So that uh, profile, when we done uh, electrical tomography modeling from based on this real field data, we observed that there are voids are there in the mines from depth of around 20, uh, roughly 14, 15 meters to around 65 meters. And that is uh, thickness is uh, from, or uh, varies from uh, 20 to 30 or 40 meters. And laterally, in the, within the mines, at, at that particular depth, around 40-50 meter depth, it is uh, a long cavity. But its thickness, laterally, it is changing, that not uniform. And along with that, we have also mapped toward the south western side a geological fault. So geological fault is one of the, which has happened in geological time. So that will indicate that is one of the passage through which water is rushing to the, this uh, lo local uh, mine shaft. And the general flow from groundwater is from west to east directions.